Hey guys, what is going on? It is Minitough, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Optifine mod for Minecraft using the new launcher. This is for Minecraft 1.6.2 Plus, so any newer versions will also work as well as long as the mod is updated. So this is pretty simple, and it's it's not as hard as you think it is, and I know a lot of you guys are getting really scared that the new launcher is making mods and harder to install. It, it is harder, but once you figure it out, it's actually pretty easy. So. I'll have this link in the description. This is to Optifine. Then you want to do is you want to scroll down here and you want to find the download for the current version you are on. I'm doing this on 1.6.2, so download that. I've already got it downloaded so you don't have to wait. And if you're, if you're looking at these instructions here, the instructions on how to install the mod, it looks a little bit confusing. So you've got all these methods here and I I don't I don't blame you. These this does look pretty difficult. But the way I'm going to be showing you is this method here, the quote not so easy method, and it actually is easier than all of these methods. And you don't have to download any magic launchers or do any weird Java argument coding thing. So it, it's the easiest method I found, and it's the most efficient where you have to download the least amount of things. You only have to download Optifine, no Forge, no magic launcher. It's the easiest method I think. So. With that, go ahead and make sure you've got this downloaded and make sure it's the version you're running. So this is for Minecraft 1.6.2. So that's the version that we've got here. So get that downloaded and make sure you've got it. I'll just show you that I have it right here in my downloads folder. There it is. Now you want to get to the Minecraft folder. So to do this, you can type the Windows key plus R and that will bring up your run command. Or you can click on the start menu and type in run and it should be the top one under programs and press enter. Either way, you want to get to this command and type in percent app data percent. I'll zoom in real close on this and you can see it. That's what you want it to look like. Percent app data percent, no spaces on any of this and press enter or press OK either way. So the reason I like to do it that way using the run command instead of typing it directly into here is that every time you want to get back to the run command, it will have this saved in here. It's pretty simple so you can get back to it quickly. Then you want to see your dot Minecraft folder as long as you haven't reorganized it like this. You should see it at the top so click on name and it should be at the top here if you don't see it again just click it again just make sure you've got it at the top it doesn't matter if it's the top but it's easier so go go into your dot minecraft ignore this this is this is nothing just just go into dot minecraft and you should see a versions folder just ignore all of this stuff here this actually shouldn't be there there you go this is what it should look like go into versions and you should see all of the versions that you have and I'll show you what this method actually does. It makes it, once you have the mod installed, you can easily switch between a version that has Optifine and that doesn't have Optifine. It's pretty awesome. So here you have an option. You can just directly rename this folder and that will copy this one over and turn it into Optifine or you can just leave it and, and copy it over. So I'm gonna be showing you this. It, it, it does the same thing, guys, don't freak out. Just do what I'm doing here and I'll, I'll promise you that it works. So rename this folder to 1.6.2 underscore Optifine and make sure you're naming it exactly as I am. So just do it do it like that. Name it 1.6.2 underscore capital O Optifine. And the reason I do it this way is because it's the easiest to see, it's better better for your eyes and you can name this to whatever you want guys. I'm serious. You could you could name this to 1.6.2 Opti as long as you rename everything the same. And you'll you'll see in a second. So just name that rename it to what I have 1.6.2 underscore Optifine make sure you're doing this on the right version guys don't do this on 1.6.1 so go into 1.6.2 as long as you know that's the current version you want to install Minecraft on so open that up and you should see these two things you're going to rename this to 1.6.2 underscore Optifine or what as I said before if you renamed it something different then make sure you name it the same thing so that's important so just make sure that they're spelled exactly the same if you spell one little thing different, it's not going to work. And that was actually the problem I had the first time I did this, is they were renamed different things. So make sure they're the same. So make sure all three of these are the same. And ignore these um, endings here. You, you want to leave the extensions the same. Then you want to open up your .json file, and you want to open this with Notepad. So for me, I've already done this, but you want to right-click and choose Open. And it's going to say, Windows can't open this file. What do you want to do? Do you want to search the web? Or do you want to choose a list from installed programs? So you want to choose a file from installed programs. Then you want to choose you know, that option. And it should take you to something that looks like this. 
and then you want to go down scroll down there's going to be a lot of applications and choose notepad you could choose any other application that to edit text but for most of you guys you should have notepad out there so choose okay and it should open up this it looks really scary don't freak out all we're doing is changing this right here to 1.6.2 you guessed it underscore optifine so that's all we're doing all this is doing is making sure minecraft has the same files to look at and it's going to add this as a version so i'll show you what it does later but make sure you name it the same don't put opt opt find make sure you do opt define i i do that problem all the time so just save that and that's it well we have to install the mod of course so open this up with winrar or 7-zip i will have a link in the description to both of those programs install them i'm sure you guys already have winrar if you've installed optifine or any other minecraft mod in the past so open this up with winrar if you don't have that you can choose open with winrar archiver and if you don't have that you can go here and choose it and then if you don't have that oh man you've got a lot of work to do you gotta go to program files and go down to winrar but you should you should be able to just go open with and choose winrar that will work then you want to choose your this is your 1.6.2 optifine and now we're going to go back to where the mod is installed so that's in my downloads folder here and open that up so all we're doing is we're transferring the, the Optifine files from that folder into the Minecraft folder. So just do that. Just go ahead and use File Select All. So you can just select all of the files that you see here and drag them in. So that's it. And then just leave all this stuff the same. It looks kind of scary, but choose OK. And voila, that's it. You've done it. Last thing you need to do is delete this meta int folder. That will make it so you get a crash when you load up Minecraft. Just delete it. I don't know why they even include it. Just delete it there. So that's done and that should be it you guys should have minecraft installed so i'll show you what it looks like here load up the minecraft launcher and you should already by default see version release 1.6.2 underscore optifine if you don't see that then go into edit profile and under version you should see it as a version here so i'll show you what it looks like you can just go ahead and choose that and press save and there you go that's it you can choose play and it's going to launch you right into minecraft on 1.6.2 with Optifine. So choose options, video settings. These are all the Optifine settings. So it's really awesome. And now that you've got the mod installed, you can easily switch to a different version. You can go in here and you can say, okay, I want, you know, 1.6.2 regular. I don't like the Optifine mod. You can choose that and launch it and it will take you right into 1.6.2. And now you don't have the Optifine mod. So that's what I really like about installing stuff this way is that you can change the version right on the fly and it's really simple and oh just you don't have to do this guys this is just me adding more RAM so don't get confused by saying that you have to have this checked so that's it guys it's really simple and really easy so stay tuned for my Mac installation tutorial and if you are you know hungry for doing this the forge method then go ahead and request it and I will have a link in the description to a Google form post where you can go ahead and add in what mod do you want me to do tutorials on so if you really want me to do a tutorial on a new mod that came out and you don't know how to install it just go ahead and drop it in that google form link and i will get it and i'll look through them and i like to install mods that a lot of you guys want to know how to do so that's it for this video mac version coming soon and make sure you go ahead and leave your request down there and i appreciate if you would leave a rating on this video not a like a rating if you if you you know you like or you like the video then go ahead and like it i like that so i'll see you guys in the next video and i hope you have a fantastic day here comes the outro with some recommended videos and i will see you guys in the next one peace out